flames just tearing through homes, buildings, and of course trees as well. That fire now out of control, but crews are concerned about the structural integrity of some buildings in the area. Welcome everyone to the four this afternoon. I'm Heather Holmes. And I'm Alex Savage. We want to get now to KTV's Henry Lee, who has been at that fire for the past couple of hours, now gathering information. Henry, what, what is the latest on, on where crews stand in terms of getting this fire fully under control? Yeah, Alex, we're here down on the ground here at the corner of Quigley and Loma Vista. We are about a block east of 35th Avenue. Take a look here at the live picture. We got Oakland firefighters on the roof of one house on the 3600 block of Quigley. This was one of the three houses that burned, unfortunately, because of the vegetation fire. Oakland firefighters here on the roof busy using chainsaws and uh, axes and hatches to cut a hole into the roof. Let's show you some pictures from earlier today how this all started began about 2 o'clock on 580 in the westbound lanes. Vegetation on the side of the freeway right at the 35th Avenue overpass in the Laurel. All caught on fire that led to embers spreading to the roofs and homes of these houses and also further west of us. So we had firefighters, CHP, Oakland Police all along not only Quigley but along the freeway trying to stop these uh, small flares. But again, most of the damage here along Quigley between 35th and Loma Vista because of this fire that began on the freeway. I will note this is the same exact spot on the freeway that burned in October 2020. At that point, it was blamed on a homeless encampment. I've talked to a number of uh, residents here who do believe that that is not clear as to whether the homeless encampments along the freeways here in Oakland is to blame. I did talk to Father Jason Landeza, chaplain for the Oakland Fire Department. He has been in contact with residents of the three or four homes that have burned. Clearly, they are uh, very upset about what has happened. We do not know the cause of the fire at this point. And right now, I did see a firefighter taken away by ambulance, by a Falk ambulance crew. Don't know uh, what his condition is. He appears to be okay. He was sitting up and conscious. Uh, a very intense firefight on many levels. Again, Alex and Heather, not only here on the ground, along quickly between Loma Vista and 35th in the Laurel, but also on the freeway in multiple spots, multiple embers, all the smokiness from along the freeway, of course, led to traffic backups in both directions along 580. That's the latest here in Oakland's Laurel. Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Henry, thank you.